Come along with Hazel and I as we go on a scenic bike ride. And then I want to bring you back to my house and show you my Amazon haul for summer essentials that I'm hoping are going to make me stay more organized and have a much more pleasant summer. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Now on to the bike ride. Hey everybody, well summer is almost here in Texas so I am out enjoying a beautiful day on the green belt. I've got little Hazel with me. Say hi Hazel. <laughs> I thought today would be a good day to show you my summer haul, my summer essentials if anybody's going to be traveling or just getting through the hot summer months. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I recently got from Amazon. One of them including bug repellent. So anyway, come along with me, enjoy the scenery, and we will get to that haul. Hazel, you want to take a little break? A case of mistaken identity. They saw me get my water bottle out and they thought I was about to feed them. I'm so sorry guys that I misled you. Hazel's like, what? Hazel, what do you think of them ducks? <laughs> Crazy. What a I don't have anything for y'all. I'm so sorry. They followed us to the bridge and now y'all see all the turtles? Guys, we don't have anything, but clearly y'all get fed frequently. Here you go, Hazel. You want some water? Here you go, baby. Break's almost over. I think the longer I wait, the less likely I'm going to want to do the other couple of miles home. This bike ride is up hills and then down hills, up hills and down hills. But the second half of this bike ride is a big, huge hill. You'll see me huffing and puffing away. The only way I can ride my bike completely up this hill is if nobody else is on the green belt. Unfortunately, if people are walking their dogs or pushing a stroller, it makes it hard. I have to slow down and therefore I can't build the momentum. So I did end up having to push my bike to the top of the hill. Sorry for all the panting and heavy breathing, but we're back on flat surface. And the rest of the back ride is pretty much through residential areas. I'll go ahead and shut the camera off. See you back at home with that Amazon haul. Forgive me for doing a voice over here. I'm basically just rambling about how we used to go cruising all the time. But then 2020 hit. And we all know what happened in 2020. And I ended up getting Hazel, who I fell absolutely in love with. And now I don't go on any vacations without her. So let me show you what I got. I'll start first with what I'm wearing. Pioneer Woman vibes. It looks like a kimono <laughs> from here up. I loved the colors. Let's say you go out for that first tan of the summer. You get a little sunburn. Maybe it's too hot to put a t-shirt back on. This material is like very, very lightweight and airy and barely brushes up against your skin. It just feels really nice. It's just a simple top. It's got a little tie right here. You can call it a moo moo. It's kind of a beach cover up. Love the color and they make really good night shirts too. If you're sunburned or something and you just want something kind of lightweight that's not real form fitting on your skin. You gotta let your skin breathe and it hurts for that material to touch your skin. I thought they were a whole lot smaller than they were. I thought it was like a little toiletry bag, you know. I am terrible when I'm ordering things online with looking at the actual measurements and comprehending it. But So I thought I just was getting a couple little travel bags to put inside my luggage when we travel. But it ended up being huge. I don't know if you can tell just exactly how big these are. So they have different ones that say different things like I got the one that says stuff and then I got this one that says mama because I just thought this was so cute. They have ones that say snacks, that say things, that say medicine. I mean it's a very simple concept but I just love the pastel colors. I think they're so fun 
and this will just help me keep the inside of my bag a little bit more organized. I got a couple of different sized beach bags and I am very, very extra when it comes to color. I like to spot my bag from across the way. If you like kind of just more modest colors, they have solid colors. I'm gonna be sure to put links in the description box to all these items in case you're interested in them. But I got this little pastel ombre looking beach bag and it's got all these pockets. So if your shoes are kind of sandy or you want to put your suntan lotion or bug spray or whatever, you've got all these different pockets on the side and then inside it's pretty spacious as you can see. So this, my husband, it had to grow on him. He was not liking this. He thought it was the tackiest thing he'd ever seen. But I, I just love, I just love all the color and this thing is huge. Literally me walking into the movie theater after hitting up the Dollar Tree snack aisle. Before you say, what? What does magnets have to do with the summer? Many people who've been on cruises know that a lot of the walls are magnet. And if you want to put up your itinerary, these are just a different color magnets. See? Come apart like that. Okay, so what does this have to do with summer? Again, if you're going cruising, holding up your different itineraries, or leaving notes for family, if you're going somewhere because the phone doesn't always work on the ship. But for me, as an RVer, when we go uh, camping, we go to the state parks usually, and they will give you a map of the park. They will also give you an itinerary of things to do in the area. So we have our refrigerator in our RV and I just thought it would be kind of cool to have a couple of these to put on the refrigerator so we can stay organized if there's specific trails that we want to go hike or whatever. We can just have it all visible so it doesn't get all crinkled up and shoved under the couch or something. I know that we can go to the dollar store to get travel size containers that you can take with you on airplanes. I thought these were really, really cute. It's a 19 pack, it's TSA approved travel bottle for your toiletries. But what's really cool about it, it's got like a bunch of things that most of those kits don't include. Your shampoo and conditioner. I like how the mouth is kind of wide. So you're not trying to you know, put your shampoo into one of these travel size containers and having it ooze out and get all gooberish. A couple of spray bottles if you want to do some hair gel or hairspray. It's got four in total of these. If you want to put some of your body lotion or your face soap or your eye makeup remover. Whoops, just dropping everything. It's just got all these cool little things and you got a little miniature spray bottle for you know, if you've got one of those face spritzers, just different things, eye makeup remover, lip balm. I use Vaseline for everything. I use it to take off my eye makeup or if my lips are dry, just put a little bit of that on there. Here is another little spray bottle. And then it's got, this is kind of cool, comes with a little funnel. So if you're, again, if you're trying to load a smaller bottle, you're not going to have to worry about all this dripping. There's a couple more little things. So this is probably more than the average person needs, but I think it was only like 10 or $11, which isn't bad. And you can split it with the people in your family. Maybe they want a couple of these different containers and you'll use the other ones. And it even comes with these little picks. So like I said, let's say you've got some face cream or something and you just want to use one of these little sticks to kind of scoop a little bit out. It's got four of those. So I thought that was kind of cool. These are so cute. I can't stand it. They are these pastel portable hangers. Now, I know that if you're going to go stay in a hotel or even on a cruise ship, they have hangers, but they don't always have as many as you need. 
So sometimes you have to wait for a porter to bring them to you and you just don't have that kind of time. I'm one of those people that when I get somewhere, I want to unpack and then I want to be done. So let me show you how these work. Oh, this is like some kind of extension cord where if you need more space to hang things. In. So they start out looking like this. You can unfold them like this. Let's say you've got a, a small child or whatever, and this is the perfect size hanger. Or you want to hang up some ties or put your jewelry or something on it. You can do that, but then they extend again. So I found these to be absolutely adorable. You know how when your body is not used to sleeping in other beds, like you go stay in a hotel or you go camping or again, go on cruising, and it might take your neck or your back a couple nights to adjust. These are the coolest things. I don't know what they're called, but I'll, again, I'll leave a link in the description box below. But they're these roller balls. You keep them in the freezer, and then when you're ready to use them, it's kind of like an ice pack. And I think this would all also feel amazing on a sunburn. The thing is, you don't want to just hold it in one area because it is super duper cold. But you just keep it in motion, and it really helps alleviate the tension in your neck. Not to mention on a hot day in Texas. This just feels amazing. Okay, so this is awesome. And then because I have the bag out, these aren't really related to summer, but just life in general. I think this, it's kind of the same concept, but I got this from the Dollar Tree. And you roll this under your eyes, so when you're tired and you don't get enough sleep, which is often the case with me, you just kind of roll this. It kind of gets the blood circulating, and it feels really, really good. Like if you've ever put cucumbers on your eyes. And this is also same concept, but for your face. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. If you are a menopausal woman like myself, and you're just constantly hot, and this is really good for swelling, but I bet this would feel really good on a sunburn too. Doesn't look like it. I can see where it's turning you red because it's like cold, but it's temporary. It reduces puffiness. I think we actually got this maybe last summer. It's been a lifesaver for me. It's a little portable neck fan. You put it on your charger. It's got a little button with different settings. I think you can hear it. Okay, so that's the highest setting. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. But for those hot summer days or you might be at the beach or whatever and just might be sweating. These things are a lifesaver. Next, I'm going to talk about insect repellent. This, I believe I got on Amazon as well. It's called Herbal Armor. I like to kind of go the natural route. And I had been hearing for years that this particular Johnson's Baby Lotion, not any other one, but this particular one, it's in the green bottle. It says aloe and vitamin E. People swear by this that this keeps the mosquitoes off and it smells really good. I would wear this just for the heck of it. It smells really good but this is apparently really good for keeping insects away. And then I have also heard Listerine. Put Listerine in a spray bottle. It has to be the gold one. It can't be like the mint or the cinnamon but the, the one that's like real gross tasting. The gold one is apparently great to keep bugs, mosquitoes, and flies off of you. This type of material, I've got some ones that are like for your body. This is a hand towel, but they're super duper thin, but very, very absorbent. And the reason I am telling you about these is they're so thin. You know how beach towels are so thick, they take up so much space when you're traveling. I found body towels that I was telling you about. So as you can see, this is a really, really long one. I don't know if I can fit it all into the screen there. But anyway, this acts just as good as a beach towel. Takes up a whole lot less space in your luggage. So I just wanted to show you, if you don't own some of these microfiber towels, they are a must have for traveling. And also you wanna make sure that you've got some things for the kids to do on days that it's just too hot to go out. I'm obsessed right now with finger knitting. 
I've been making blankets for all the people I love and I've done like three or four. I still have a couple more to go. When I get a little better at making the blankets, I will do a video that's kind of a step-by-step. -step. It's so easy. All you need is the yarn and your fingers. Those blankets, depending on the size you make, they can go anywhere from $100 to $300 but you can just go buy yourself some yarn from Joanne Fabric, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. If you get a good deal, like I got these for 30% off. These are so, so soft, but this is definitely not something you think of around the summertime. In the summer, if it's hot, you're not thinking of making big, thick blankets, but if you want to kind of get a jump start on your Christmas. But anyway, what I was gonna say is if you've got any hobbies or you're looking for stuff to keep the kids busy, just go down to Dollar Tree. They've got puzzles, crossword puzzles, books that you can read. That would be my suggestion on getting prepared for the summer and any traveling that you may do. Got a couple of neat little water bottles that I wanted to tell you about. Obviously, drinking water in the summer is crucial. They kind of look like flasks. They're flat, so if you want to carry them in a backpack or something, and you didn't want to take up a lot of space. They fit real nicely. It's a good way to conserve space. These are cool too. Packable, hydration, no matter. So I do a lot of hiking year round. And what's really cool about this, it is a collapsible water bottle. So it ends up looking like this. You can fold it down and pack it. Let's not forget our pets when we're going to be traveling with them this summer. I've mentioned this a couple times. This is just so handy. It's a little water dispenser, water bottle. You just fill it up and then there is a button right here. You just push that button and the water comes out. Push the same button that released the water into the cup and it just falls back into the water bottle. I don't know if y'all have heard of Bentigo. They're like bento boxes and they're stackable, but for those long road trips or the trips to the beach where you want to take some snacks, you're all set. I also want to talk to you about one of my summer must-haves. Treat Lip Balm. Can you see that? That's Key Lime Pie. This is one of my favorites. I've actually done a haul on Treat products before and my lips are just constantly so dry and I have tried every product out there for dry lips. I'm actually going to include in the description box below all my treat products. For more than one function they can be used like the mint and matcha has caffeine in it. I like to put this under my eyes. You know, it's safe to use all over. I use it on my eyelids too. Just don't get it directly in your eye. They have tinted lip balm that you can not only use as a balm, but to put on your cheeks to give them a little bit of color. I like to use them on my lines. I mean, it's completely safe. It's like all organic ingredients. Virgin coconut oil, beeswax, cocoa butter, essential oils, stevia. Although this video is more of an Amazon haul, you can get treat bombs on Amazon as well. Another summer must have for me is detangling wet brush. In the summer we like to go to the beach where it's real windy and we get salt water in our hair or you go to the pool where you get a lot of chlorine in your hair and it just kind of starts to get dry. These are real good to get the tangles out. You just kind of hold the root of your hair and brush it and it just kind of moves along with the tangle so it doesn't really pull a lot of your hair out. As you know, I went on that bike ride today so I sweated, sweated, is that a word? Sweated or sweat? I need to wash my hair tonight, but I'm just kind of giving you a quick demo. It doesn't hurt because it just kind of moves along with the tangle. That is another summer must have as far as I'm concerned. So I will be sure to show you a picture of the new bathing suits that I got for the summer. I like to mix patterns and 
you know, when you're 50 years old or older, for me in particular, I, I'm not going to be wearing like string bikinis. I do still like to wear two pieces, so I'm kind of a fan of the tank bikini. I'm also a creature of habit. So if I like something a lot, I'll get multiple versions of that particular style. So here we've got one of them, and it's got this cute little knot in the middle. It's actually kind of flattering, and I feel comfortable in it, so I can still be in a two-piece without revealing too much. It's a pretty forgiving bathing suit. I got the exact same style, green. These are the bottoms. These packing cubes are absolutely amazing. They are a game changer when it comes to fitting a lot of stuff into a small space. Not to mention they help you stay extremely organized. This next essential is going to have to be a visual. We're going to have to pretend that I'm holding these towel clips because ours are on our camper. I will put a picture here. I think that towel clips are very essential to have if you're going on a cruise and you've been on the Lido deck and the wind is blowing and your towel's blowing away. They kind of just hold your towel in place on the lounge chair. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is a couple of hats. So it's very, very important to protect our skin. One little straw cowboy hat that I like to wear to the river when we go river rafting and then kind of just a fun little beach type hat to wear at the beach or when you wear one of your nice sundresses. Some of those I haven't opened yet. This is a very highly rated neck pillow, but these have really, really good ratings. They are like a memory foam riding in the car. Just kind of, oh, it just molds to your neck. It's actually very firm. Next thing I want to talk to you about are these like, hair turbans. I like these microfiber towels, so they are super thin. These are very, very lightweight, very absorbent, pack up very nicely in a bag, latches onto the button. I also have the body towels as well and little washcloths. I highly recommend these. These were the microfiber washcloths that I was telling you about a moment ago. So this comes in a pack of four, and I absolutely love these things for the same reason. They are very thin, very absorbent, but these serve another purpose. Not just washing your face, but they're also makeup removers. So if you've got makeup on, you don't need to bother packing your eye makeup remover your soap, your astringent, and all that. This, you just use it, and it's got, it's gentle, but yet it scrubs hard enough, I guess, to get off the, the makeup and then the dead skin cells, and then your face feels refreshed afterwards. So I highly recommend getting some of these microfiber makeup removers. This is so cute. First, I fell in love with the mustard yellow color. And the fabric is really, really soft. And this also has some high ratings on Amazon. And so it looks like this. And then you open the flaps. And then it's got all these little places to put your toiletries, your Q-tips, your cotton balls, whatever you may use. Even your little hair turban towels can probably fit in here. And it's got a little hook, so you can just hook it over your door. I just loved this, and I needed a good little travel cosmetic bag. I don't know if I would call this a necessity, but it was definitely fun. And I saw this one with a chihuahua. It reminded me so much of Hazel. But it's this hand-stitched, different designs. I think they have like a turtle, bird, and different things like that. And I thought this would be good when you're traveling, if you're going somewhere for the day and let's say you don't want to tote all of your belongings that you put in your purse, you just maybe want to put a phone and a couple of credit cards and some cash. And they've got little details, so I, I got the dog one, so it's got like a little bone. And I thought this was a cute little charm too. 
This was also very, very cute, very compact, and it is a mirror, so if you wanted to carry this in a small purse like what I just showed you, it doesn't take up a lot of space. If you want to check your teeth after you eat, if you go someplace and want to make sure you don't have any food in your teeth or just to reapply, retouch up your makeup, and the coolest part is it lights up. How cool is that? This is a really cool little pill holder for your medication or your vitamins and it's it folds up real nicely. It's got a little magnet that holds it clo closed together and then you open it and it's got seven for each day of the week obviously so I thought this was cute and it comes in multiple colors. Next, I wanted to show you this digital luggage scale. I thought this would be good to have, even though we don't really fly that much anymore, but it's good to measure all your luggage before you try to go through security and have to be told that your bag is too heavy. It just has the straps that you attach to your luggage, and then you hold it up in the air, and it'll tell you how much they weigh. This is also good if you are a backpacker and let's say you're attempting to do a through hike of the Appalachian Trail or something, these are really good to have because it's important to stay under a certain amount of weight with your backpack. So I thought this would be good to have. This right here is a waterproof phone case and it's got a little strap so you can wear it around your neck. I am going to insert a picture that I took of my daughter at the water park. She was going down the slide and she wanted to kind of film her reaction, so she had this. It looked like she was texting. This is good to have if you want to take pictures underwater, but you, it's very, very important to make sure that, that it's sealed up all the way or you'll ruin your phone. I think it's real handy to have one of these little portable hammocks if you are staying somewhere and there's a couple of trees nearby and you just want to hook this thing up it's so so easy to do so. that completes my haul for today I know that was a lot of stuff to show you but hopefully you found some inspiration for your summer travel whether you're going somewhere or just looking for something handy to have around the house to make the summer more bearable and easier to deal with but I hope that y'all have a blessed day, and I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye, guys.